Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, you're very welcome. So two recent studies, one out of America, one out of Spain, have shown that vitamin D could be a very effective treatment against COVID-19. Now there are links to the studies and articles that I used to compile this presentation in the description below, so please feel free to look at those. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation and look at vitamin D as a possible treatment for COVID-19. In a retrospective study of patients tested for COVID-19, researchers at the University of Chicago Medicine found a link between vitamin D deficiency and the likelihood of becoming infected with the coronavirus. The team from the University of Chicago identified a clear connection between vitamin D deficiency and an increased risk of contracting COVID-19. David Meltzer, chief of hospital medicine and lead author of the study said, vitamin D is important to the function of the immune system and vitamin D supplements have previously been shown to lower the risk of viral respiratory tract infections. Our statistical analysis suggests this may be true for the COVID-19 infection. Now the research team looked at 489 patients at the U Chicago Medicine whose vitamin D level had been measured within a year of them testing positive for the COVID-19 virus. Patients who had vitamin D deficiency, which is defined as less than 20 nanograms per milliliter of blood and had not been treated were almost twice as likely to test positive for the COVID-19 virus compared to those patients who did have sufficient levels of vitamin D. So according to the Turkish publication, The Daily Saba, the link that researchers found may explain the unusually high rates of COVID-19 with some ethnic minority groups. The University of Chicago study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, the JAMA, while another study conducted in Cordoba in Spain was published by the National Institutes of Health. The study in the JAMA looked at patients who were already being monitored for vitamin D deficiencies. Those that were deficient in vitamin D were twice as likely to get the coronavirus. This may explain why minorities such as African Americans and Latinos whose deficiency rates are found to be between 70 and 80 percent respectively contract the virus at a disproportionately higher rate. This means that simply taking vitamin D supplements may be enough to prevent many from contracting the virus. So now let's look at the study that took place in Spain. Well, the Spanish study is even more significant as it tracks two groups in a randomized double-blind test at the National Institutes of Health. Both groups had tested positive for COVID-19 and had already been admitted to the hospital to receive the best care available. The control group was not given any extra vitamin D supplements. The test group was given an analog of the vitamin calcifidol, which is the hormone produced by taking vitamin D and is much faster acting. So how did the two groups fare? So let's take a look at the results of the Spanish trial. Well, the test group who took vitamin D were admitted to intensive care at a rate of 2% of all patients in the group, whereas the control group who didn't take the vitamin D analog were admitted to intensive care at an increased rate of 50%. 7% of the control group who were not taking the added vitamin D died, whereas nobody in the trial group who did take the supplement died. Now, while the numbers of patients in both these studies was quite low, 489 in America, and 76 in Spain, the results are nothing short of breathtaking. Addressing vitamin D deficiencies may not only prevent you from contracting the virus, but for those of you that already have it, it may treat the symptoms faster and with fewer complications. 
Now, obviously, vitamin D is not a vaccine. But if these numbers can be trusted, it is the strongest and cheapest weapon so far in the fight against COVID-19. Now, obviously, Big Pharma stands to make a sizable loss if these studies are confirmed and found to be more effective than the current, much more expensive treatments. This may be the treatment that policymakers and economists have been looking for to prevent the spread of and treat the symptoms of the COVID-19 virus. So I hope you found that interesting um, or informative, uh, hopefully both. Um, I'm going to preempt possibly some questions um, I may get in the comments below, which is that if you think you're in a high risk group, then I would get a blood test. And if you are low in vitamin D, then I would start to supplement with vitamin D um, quite quickly. It's fairly cheap. Uh, if you look back at my vitamin D videos, you'll see also that I recommend you take vitamin K2 for the reasons that I list in the vitamin D and the vitamin K2 videos. Uh, for those of you who are interested, uh, at the present, I take 5,000 international units of vitamin D per day. I take 120 micrograms of vitamin K2 and I take 250 milligrams of magnesium. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care and bye for now.